Pessoal, bom dia. Obrigado aí a todos pela presença. A gente agradecendo também ao pessoal que está aí nos assistindo remotamente online. Essa sessão já está sendo transmitida online também. É, alguma, uma, algumas partes dessa sessão vão ser feitas em inglês, então se alguém tiver alguma questão, alguma dúvida ou, ou quiser algum esclarecimento, por favor nos perguntem. Né? A gente está aqui com, com o time da, da C-Cyber, tem várias pessoas da C-Cyber aqui. Não sei se eu vou conseguir apresentar todos. O Almir, que é o nosso, nosso profissional que responde pela academia. O Anselmo, que é o Cyber Officer. Tem o pessoal de marketing, outras pessoas aqui. Tem o controlador da empresa, que é o Paulo. E a gente tem aqui o Amit, que é uma pessoa da Cyberbit, de Israel, que é um parceiro estratégico e bastante importante para a gente, é, dentro do nosso processo de estabelecimento e crescimento no mercado, no mercado nacional. Vou pedir o Cleiton, por favor. A gente vai falar um pouquinho, é, vou passar aqui qual vai ser a agenda do dia. Antes de tudo, meu nome é Daniel, né, acho que não, não, não comecei por aí, a gente, eu respondo pela, pela operação e está construindo um negócio e trabalhando com o time. Então o nosso evento hoje é um evento que a gente é, chamou de Experiência Range, vou falar um pouquinho sobre isso e o, o porquê da Experiência Range, né? Falando um pouquinho da nossa agenda de hoje, o evento a gente até pede desculpas aí pelos 15 minutos aí de, de delay. A gente resolveu esperar mais um pouquinho, porque a gente sabe que tem a questão do trânsito de São Paulo, né, que, que nem sempre é, é favorável. Mas a gente vai falar um pouquinho sobre a Cia Cyber, o que é a Cia Cyber, o que a empresa é, tem como propósito, o que ela vem fazer no mercado nacional. Depois a gente vai passar a palavra ao CEO e vice-presidente mundial da, da Cyberbit, que vai falar diretamente de Israel com a gente. Tá? Ele vai, fazer, vai falar um pouquinho da Cyberbit e do, e do Range, vai falar um pouco de posicionamento também do, do mercado. Uma, um papo rápido. A gente, depois da apresentação do Guilado, a gente vai passar um vídeo bem curto falando do, do Cyber Range, vocês conhecerem um pouquinho o que está acontecendo ao redor do mundo com a experiência do, do Cyber Range. E a gente vai, então, é, passar a palavra para o Anselmo, que é o nosso Cyber Officer, e o Amit, que vão mostrar para vocês uma experiência em simulação de ataque cibernético usando o Cyber Range. A gente tem um Range instalado aqui, na, na própria C-Cyber, e a gente também tem o acesso ao Range da Cyberbit em Israel. Falando um pouquinho é, falando um pouco do evento, falando um pouquinho da, do mercado brasileiro, acho que vocês, a maioria já conhece isso, né? a gente tem aí um, um viés de risco crescente no mercado de negócios, de uma forma geral, pela, pelo risco cibernético. Os ataques cibernéticos estão crescendo aí num patamar exponencial. Muitos deles a gente ainda não tem é, efetiva noção até que ele aconteça ou causa um, causa um, dano, um dano real. Mas é uma coisa que o Brasil está bastante exposto. Né? Os, o, o valor desses prejuízos eles também vem crescendo é, de forma contínua. A gente espera que... E aí tem algumas pessoas aqui do mercado de seguros que, que avaliam isso de uma forma bastante mais proativa e, e, e com bastante conhecimento. É, seguro cibernético é uma das coisas que se tem uma, uma visão de crescimento é, do negócio de seguro cibernético muito grande no mundo e no Brasil também. E a gente tem aí recentemente a, a Lei Geral de Proteção de Dados, a LGPD, que é prevista que entre em vigor aí no, no meio do, do ano de 2020. Né? Talvez seja aí adiada por questões de que as empresas não estão conseguindo se adequar rapidamente, mas, ela, mas até então a, a prisão é que ela entra em vigor no, no meio de 2020. E aí falando um pouquinho é, desse contexto, a gente sabe que, por vários estudos que existem de mercados, que um dos grandes problemas que hoje existem, a tecnologia existe, os processos muitas vezes existem, estão sendo aprimorados, mas existe um grande gap de profissionais no, é, capacitados em, em, em segurança da informação e segurança cibernética. É, isso é um grande mercado no mundo inteiro e no Brasil também. A gente tem alguns estudos que falam que a gente está aí com cerca de 140 mil é, profissionais como GAP na América Latina e esse número é crescente. Então a C-Cyber ela, ela olha isso como uma possibilidade de como contribuir para que esse tipo de ação ou esse tipo de formação da, de profissional venha a mitigar um pouco desse risco cibernético que existe no mercado. Tá falando um pouquinho da, da C-Cyber em si, a gente é uma empresa, é, basicamente o posicionamento da C-Cyber é uma empresa que vem para prover uma capacitação integrada e continuada e compreensiva para o mercado corporativo e governo. Ou seja, hoje o mercado de capacitação ele é um mercado bastante fragmentado, as empresas elas não têm muito onde buscar um processo é, integrado e compreensivo de capacitação, a gente vem 
para atender esse mercado, oferecendo para as empresas e organizações um processo contínuo, integrado e, e compreensivo de capacitação em segurança cibernética. Trabalhando aí com, com as certificações de mercado, trabalhando com, com os principais players uh, que existem no mundo e também complementando isso através da experiência Range, da nossa plataforma de simulação de ataque cibernético em ambiente hiperrealístico, que a gente vai mostrar para vocês. Tá? É, falando um pouquinho aqui do... Hoje, do, ali o Gilad está na linha, está atrapalhando, mas é entregando valor aos clientes. Fala um pouquinho dos gaps, né? ou seja, como é que a gente enxerga que hoje é, o mercado é atendido e aí quais são os gaps que existem. Né? Ou você tem um gap num processo de entrega e de capacitação integrada dos profissionais e contínua, ou você tem um gap de processo. Né? E muitas vezes você não tem uma, um processo continuado de atualização desses profissionais e que possibilite a eles se manterem atualizados e, e principalmente que tem uma experiência prática no, 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 no aprendizado. A gente vem aí com uma proposta de valor de cumprir todos esses itens, de preencher todos esses itens uh, dentro desse processo. Falando um pouquinho do nosso portfólio, é, a gente tem um portfólio que é baseado aí em capacitação continuada e workshops, tanto presencial como online. A gente tem a parte de programas e trilhos de aprendizado com EAD, é, ensino à distância por, por subscrição. A gente está num processo de implementar as plataformas de LMS que vão ser integradas tanto presencial como online. E a gente vai integrar plataformas israelenses e americanas para entregar conteúdo atualizado e, e de, forma, é, de forma dinâmica e, e online para todos os clientes. A gente tem o, o range, que a gente é, consegue entregar o range como serviço. Ou seja, grandes instituições ou instituições de ensino ou quaisquer clientes que queiram, além de, de, de capacitar seus profissionais aqui na C-Cyber, eles, eles queiram também ter um range instalado, eles vão poder fazer isso, eles vão poder adquirir o range no modelo de software da CEFs. A gente implementa o range, é, provê toda a assessoria e de uma forma contínua ajuda o, o cliente a formatar os programas que ele queiram ter. O range ele é uma ele é uma plataforma que ele, que ele trabalha muito em cima de capacitação, mas ele também trabalha com a parte de testes de aplicação tá, em cenários simulados. E a gente vem aqui, é, mais uma vez, reforçar nossa parceria exclusiva no Brasil com a Cyberbit. A Cyberbit, eu não preciso fazer a introdução, acho que o próprio Guilado vai fazer. Ela é uma, é uma empresa líder global na parte de, de simulação em ataque cibernético né, e, e, outras, e outras soluções. A gente tem para o Brasil uma parceria exclusiva com ele. É, e a gente tem trabalhado aí fortemente com ele para construir esse mercado e ajudar aí os, os clientes e as organizações no Brasil. Vou passar para o Gilad falar. Você pode... Hi, Gilad. Hello. Ok, it's all yours. <laughs> all right. So, first of all, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm speaking from uh, Israel. And I'm going to share with you a short presentation about uh, Cyberbit before... Amit is going to show you a much more thorough presentation and demonstration of our range. So if you don't mind, I'm going to try and share the presentation with you. All right. Is the presentation on? Daniel, do you see the presentation? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, so a short background about Cyberbit. Uh, we were founded about three and a half years ago, uh, but in fact, we are much more experienced and older than three and a half years because we were actually founded as a spin-off to Elbit System, which is the biggest defense company in Israel. So three and a half years ago, the CEO of Elbit decided to strategically invest in cyber. So he took the cyber business from within Elbit and created a spin-off company, uh, which is Cyberbit. We have today uh, around 270 employees uh, with more than half of them is uh, in the R&D uh, developing Uh, the technology for four uh, cybersecurity products, uh, the main of which is the Cyberbit range, which is going to be uh, presented to you today. 
Uh, as you will see in a slide later on, uh, we have quite a substantial global presence uh, with offices in US, in Europe, in Asia, in Australia. And actually, uh, C Cyber is uh, our, fr our first uh, real partner in uh, Latin America. And we are therefore very proud for the, um, this moment where we kick off the cyber bit range uh, in Brazil. The reason that we have started uh, the cyber bit range already more than six years ago uh, is that actually we realized that the main gap today in the cybersecurity is not a specific product. Uh, for almost every uh, cybersecurity challenge, you will find dozens of optional products. But actually, the main gap today is the people who are going to be able to operate all those cybersecurity products and to understand what they're getting. This is the major gap today. You can see uh, that according to uh, several researchers, we're talking today on a shortage of more than 3 million uh, people, cybersecurity experts uh, globally. And the forecast is that this number is only going to uh, increase. Also, when you're going to question uh, all types of uh, organizations, uh, the managers of the organization, the cybersecurity professionals, uh, they always come back and say that the shortage of skilled analysts, the shortage of skilled uh, cybersecurity personnel is uh, causing a great uh, impact uh, to the organization. Uh, more than that, uh, the level of training that is provided uh, to the people who are responsible for the cybersecurity uh, work is very poor, if at all. In fact, uh, when we started the cybersecurity range uh, more than six years ago, we actually were working together with the simulation department in Elbit, who was already for years doing uh, simulation for uh, airborne, for pilots. And of course, you know that uh, nobody will send pilots to the battle without getting them to train first of all on simulator. Nobody wants to uh, fight an enemy pilot or an enemy aircraft for the first time in real battle. Uh, but for many years, it was not the same for the uh, cyber warfare. So people in the SOC, whether they are tier one, tier two analysts, uh, actually uh, conf were confronted with the cyber attacks the first time when it was a real attack. And this was the reason why we felt that uh, the main uh, product which is missing uh, in the market is a real hyper-realistic range which can provide our customers the real mean to train them and actually prepare them to the real work uh, in the cybersecurity domain. And in fact, uh, this product was developed uh, in a mindset that it is suitable for a very large variety of customers. It was, by the way, originally built uh, for the Israeli Defense Forces. So if any of you will ever visit Israel, which you are most welcome to do, uh, you will find that today uh, the only uh, real uh, training and simulation platform that the Israeli Defense Forces are using is actually our cyber bit range. This is where they first of all, take the 18 years old um, soldiers starting the career. They arrive there sometimes with no IT or cyber background. And after theoretical and practical training on the range, they become the cyber operators, the cyber uh, warriors of the Israeli Defense Forces. But in fact, this range is not only uh, for defense and government organization. This is a great tool uh, to actually start from university for the first layer of cybersecurity training, 
for enterprises, for all sorts of organization, which have to deal with the day-to-day -day battles of the cybersecurity threats. In this slide, for example, uh, what you can see here is a picture taken from Regent University in Virginia Beach in the US. Uh, today, as you're going to see in one of the next slides, uh, we already have about a dozen uh, customers who are actually universities in the US who implement the cyber range as a mean to improve the students' um, experience, both in undergraduate and graduate uh, studies. They also actually uh, bring our I return on investment from the range by selling cybersecurity uh, lessons to all types of industries in the vicinity of the university. So in this case, we're talking about a regent who are customers uh, for more than two years now. Uh, you will see a short video clip later on, which has some interesting uh, shots from the ribbon cutting ceremony, uh, which happened about two years ago. Uh, you can see that uh, in the middle of the picture, there is uh, the trainer. And here you can see in this configuration, we have actually four different classes. Each class can uh, train on a different um, exercise, a different scenario. Uh, you have at the background the servers, and in this very unique configuration, uh, the team, after going through the uh, theoretical learning, go and actually face and have the experience to deal with real cybersecurity threats. What you can see here is actually how the heart of the cyber range looks like. So uh, in this case, what we're doing is we're actually giving the trainees the experience of working with a very rich network. You can see the virtualized network that has more than 60 virtual machines running in parallel, having everything that you would find in a real SOC, starting from the simulated internet and databases, switches, uh, all types of uh, operating systems, Linux, uh, Windows. Of course, you have firewalls, and what we're putting there is the most advanced firewalls. It could be Checkpoint or Palo Alto. Uh, you see the databases, the emails, the proxy server, everything that you will see uh, in a real SOC. So the student actually has the experience like working in real life. Uh, additionally, uh, we also integrate into the network an SIEM, a SIM. Uh, it could be either Curada or ArcSight, um, whatever fits uh, the needs of, of the customer. And what's happening is that our automated attack generator is injecting all types of cybersecurity attacks, scenarios into the network. And the students, like in real life, has to use their cybersecurity tools available on that rich network in order to detect that an attack happened and to mitigate the attack and actually solve what's going on. Now, since everything is built on virtual network, after the exercise is done, it is very easy and quickly to revert to the original situation and be able to start the exercise all over again. So many ranges that you will see worldwide, which are built on real uh, network, after the attack has been completed, it could be days before you can revert uh, to the original uh, network situation, which is, which is not the case here. On the right-hand side, you can see that we also integrate what we call a traffic generator. And the reason is we want the trainer uh, to be able to actually simulate a real life. So it's not only the attack is running in a network, but the trainer can add all types of additional uh, events in parallel, like brute force attack or any other uh, means so that the students has several things happening in parallel like real life uh, could uh, give him. Uh, we offer all types of uh, scenario packages depending on the customer needs. 
starting from entry level SOC training scenarios. I'm guessing Amit is going to uh, present uh, at least one of them to you guys. Uh, we also have a more advanced SOC training scenarios for, for tier two for analysts like malware analysis scenario and very advanced scenarios. Uh, we have uh, scenarios and exercise which are meant to deal with the OT world. So here we are talking about SCADA networks which are used for infrastructure, gas, oil, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And also we have training package for red team, so for penetration testing people. So on the same platform, you can train a very large variety of cyber personnel. And this is indeed the reason why this range is used for entry level students and also for the most advanced uh, professionals that are, that are out there. Uh, the system also enable uh, remote access so you don't have to have everybody sitting in the same classroom. Of course, when everybody is sitting in the same classroom, like in a university, there is an advantage. But still, if you have your range installed in Sao Paulo and you want students from Rio or wherever to connect, that's not a problem. Uh, the trainer, like you will see soon in the, in the demonstration, uh, can see what everybody is doing. Uh, the students can chat between themselves, either privately or in a group so that they can re really work uh, like in real life. Here in this slide, you can see uh, some of our uh, customers uh, worldwide. And uh, as I mentioned to you before, uh, today the cyber range, uh, I would say is the most advanced cyber range uh, you can find. Uh, both in quality capabilities, but also uh, we have a very unique install base, uh, both from type of customers. So as I mentioned before, government customers like the Israeli Defense Forces, Australian Defense Forces, and more, through uh, universities in Israel, in the US, you can see some of the more uh, known universities like Purdue, uh, Columbus State University, Regent University, and others. Uh, we have all types of customer who are more enterprise uh, companies like A1 from uh, Austria uh, and more and more. And of course, there is a very nice new customer in Brazil, which is C Cyber, who is our partner uh, for this uh, endeavor. Which bring me to the last slide. Uh, we have been uh, thinking for a long time after we have uh, been working a lot in uh, the US and in Asia and Europe, we've been thinking for a long time that we should start uh, putting more effort and focus on Latin America uh, for many senses. And I've been talking with uh, potential customers uh, throughout Latin America, uh, the, the uh, understanding and uh, the, uh, I would say, the urge to start uh, implementing uh, cyber simulation training platform uh, took some time uh, to understand, but now we see in many places that this is really becoming the first and most urgent uh, need. And so after uh, quite a long, uh, so to speak, due diligence uh, stage, uh, we have selected uh, C Cyber to be our partner and uh, actually uh, implement this uh, center of excellence for cybersecurity uh, in Brazil, where they actually complement our uh, very capable product with their knowledge of the Brazilian market, uh, with their experience of working in the different, uh, I would say, aspects. Uh, for cybersecurity in the uh, Brazilian market. And C Cyber is going to be 100% focused on providing integrated training programs and solution in cybersecurity while integrating uh, the hands on experience of cybersecurity training on our range uh, with uh, different uh, cybersecurity courses uh, that uh, they are developed. Uh, we're working in very close proximity 
uh, both with Daniel, who is the CEO for C Cyber, and the uh, board of members, the stakeholders, uh, which are very experienced investors from Brazil and the US, uh, so that we can uh, really uh, succeed in uh, implementing uh, the cybersecurity, cyber bit range in Brazil and get as many customers to enjoy the benefits of the system and improve bridging the gap of the cybersecurity knowledge and training in Brazil. Questions? Okay, Gilad, thank you very much for your nice presentation. I think we're gonna gather the questions and then we can forward it to you later. So we can uh, try to keep the, the agenda of the event, uh, I mean, on the right uh, path here. Thank you very much for your presentation, your time. My pleasure. Uh, we will show a short video now and then Amit will we we'll take it from, from there. Ok, obrigado. É, a gente vai mostrar um vídeo bem curto agora do Range é, e aí logo em seguida o Amit e o Anselmo assumem e aí já vão para a demonstração da simulação em si. There's a new state-of-the-art cyber range training facility at Regent University in Virginia Beach. Its main goal is to be a training ground for students, giving them hands-on experience to respond to cyber attacks. And that hands-on experience comes in the form of simulations. The technology can simulate cyber attacks based off of real-world events, and then the students, of course, learn how to respond. It's that kind of training that officials believe can be effective in fighting cyber crimes. We're using the cyber range to give students a real experience in a corporate environment to really be able to uh, react the way that they would if they were actually in an attack. And now I'm going to inaugurate what is the finest uh, cyber range facility in this area and possibly in the state of Virginia. Imagine the world's most widely used cyber training platform located right here in Virginia Beach in Hampton Roads. This world-class cybersecurity training and simulation platform, the only military-grade cyber training facility in Minnesota, will go a long way towards strengthening our state's cybersecurity training capabilities, ensuring our state is prepared for any kind of attack.